Grandes eventos dividem a história entre antes e depois. O ataque às Torres Gêmeas em 11 de setembro de 2001 foi um deles. 20 anos após a tragédia, os Estados Unidos e o mundo nunca mais foram os mesmos. Imediatamente após 9-11, o grief e o choque foram tão profundos. E foi... It was almost like a very, very difficult to uh, have a more serious conversation about the U.S. and the world. Uh, there was a lot of really intense nationalism. We're um, increasingly able to put 9-11 into a broader historical context and um, to use that those tragic events to... Um, understand many things at once, you know. So yes, um, you know, tragedy and loss of life, but also what it meant for the U.S. to be um, uh, involved in the Middle East, right? Um, how to think about um, uh, religious and political fundamentalisms, uh, how to be attentive to the kinds of racism that can emerge in response to uh, forms of nationalism. Alguns traumas ligados ao atentado podem ser bastante abstratos, mas há cicatrizes concretas. Desde 2003, por exemplo, quem compra uma passagem aérea para viajar pelos Estados Unidos tem que pagar a taxa 11 de setembro, que foi reajustada há pouco para 5 dólares e 60 centavos o trecho. A cobrança imposta pelo governo serve para custear o Serviço Federal de Segurança da Aviação Civil. Objetos cortantes e pontiagudos também passaram a ser proibidos nas cabines de aviões. So there is a, a kind of, and it's not just in the United States, it's globally a kind of um, security apparatus that developed after 9-11. There's probably a kind of, um, um, you know, a project of sort of surveillance, you know, that we've, we've perhaps all, you know, come to accept as part of, Part of what we deal with every day. Os americanos também passaram a ter uma visão mais crítica e dura do islamismo. E o ex-presidente Donald Trump chegou inclusive a assinar o que ficou conhecido como o veto muçulmano, proibindo a entrada de pessoas de nove países com maioria islâmica, entre eles Iraque, Síria, Líbia, Irã e outros. Yes, you know, there was there was the Trump's Muslim ban, but then, you know, Biden was was elected. You know, and that was a real repudiation. Em uma pesquisa conduzida pelo Washington Post e ABC News, oito em cada dez americanos concordam que o ataque às Torres Gêmeas mudou o país de forma permanente. You know, one never wants to say that that there's anything, you know, positive about a tragedy. I mean, this was a huge loss of life and um, destruction and, uh, you know, just incredible, um, yeah, loss, really. Um, but I do think that, um, you know, we can use that uh, event, those events, to really think about, you know, what it means to be a citizen of the world. And, um, and I think that that is, you know, that is, that is here in the United States. You know, people, people are thinking about that really, really carefully and critically. And, and that's, you know, if I can say it, it's a positive you know, effect of looking at 9-11.